Hey everybody, hope you're having a very good day. I'm Perry, gladly sharing insights and practical advice to help you create great content for your business, your marketing, or whatever you wanna do with your content. I'm doing something a little bit different here in this video, doing something I've never done before. Now, all of my videos up until this point were shot using a Sony full frame mirrorless camera, the A7 III. However, I've decided to make a change here. Uh, for this video, I'm actually shooting for the very first time off an iPhone, an iPhone 12 Pro Max. The reason why I'm shooting or moving over to an iPhone is because, uh, well, I've sold my camera. I'm selling my camera for a number of reasons, probably the most likely of which is the Sony a7 III, which is a fantastic camera, is anticipated to be replaced pretty soon, probably later this year with a uh, newer generation camera. And I'm taking advantage of the opportunity to sell this camera now while uh, the resale value I think is still high because this is still an extremely popular camera. It's an excellent camera really. It's one of the best cameras ever produced for doing video, you know, uh, YouTube style video productions, even corporate video productions for that matter. So I'm gonna sell it try to get used to uh, shooting on a uh, iPhone and we'll see what happens. I've done a few tests with the iPhone 12 Pro Max here and I have to say the image quality is pretty darn impressive for, for what you can do in a smartphone. Now I wouldn't say that it's exactly up to what you can do on a full frame mirrorless camera or even a camera with an APS-C size sensor, but it's very respectable. I'm shooting this video, in fact, in 4K, just as I was doing on, on my Sony. The reason why you wanna shoot in 4K is because you wanna take advantage of the full resolution and the quality of the image sensor behind the lens in the camera. And then shoot it at its maximum resolution. You get all the goodness of the sensor and then in post-production later when you're doing your editing and rendering, if you want to, you can render out or you could put out your video in, in uh, 1080p instead of 4K. So yeah, it's, 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 it's impressive what you can get out of, a, out of a smartphone camera. I mean, it's very, very encouraging. Um, what's amazing is that if you wanna do your own video production, even for your business, all you have to do is just set up your camera uh, set on your smartphone and uh, you know, you're pretty much off to the races. One thing I will advise you is that when you are, if you are gonna get more serious about creating on your smartphone is that you wanna to try to follow some of the basic principles that people normally would when they're creating videos. Most important of which is to shoot manually. Use manual settings. Don't rely on the auto settings of your camera and just believe that you can just hit, you just point your camera, hit the button and go. You really need to pay attention to some of the, the, the essential features. It's actually very easy, but you wanna fix your shutter speed at, at um, no more than twice the resolution of your video. You wanna fix the uh, set the ISO, the sensitivity of your camera as, as low as possible to reduce any background noise in the image, especially um, when you're shooting darker scenes. But you definitely wanna make sure whatever you do, try to use manual controls because you'll have the greatest creative control all um, over your camera. You'll really benefit when you're able to get the uh, get your smartphone to, to uh, perform and capture the, the image you really want for your productions. This is really impressive, I have to say. I mean, who knows? Maybe I may not even buy another camera for a long time and just stick to this for a while. We'll see what happens. But uh, I really encourage you, if you're interested in getting into video production yourself, even if you wanna have fun doing something at home or if you're um, in your home office or you're back in the office at work and you work in marketing or you have your own business and you're really under feeling the pressure and that desire to promote what you're doing yourself, your company, your product on video, I would definitely encourage giving a, a, a shot on, on your smartphone and just see what happens. You know, it may be, uh, it may actually be, be good enough for what you need. One more thing though, no matter what you do, smartphone or camera, nothing's gonna matter more than, than the lighting and, and the quality of the lighting and the amount of lighting that you have around you. You don't have to spend a whole lot to do it, but you do need to be conscientious and aware of that. That's true of any video production where, where you care at least to some level about quality. 
Same thing goes with audio. With audio, you absolutely positively do not want to use the audio that's built into your smartphone. That is an absolute no-no if you're trying to get good video, uh, good production quality on your on your video. You want to plug in some sort of microphone, you know, like a microphone that I'm using here, this this shotgun, or a lavalier microphone that you would clip onto your shirt or jacket. I'll probably do a video. I'd like to do a video at some point going into further detail on, on how to set up your microphone, which is pretty easy, but I think it's important to be aware of this if you're really serious about getting something that looks great, sounds great, and translates in the end to a quality video production. Don't need pro audio equipment. You just uh, just take some you know, standard uh, recommended practices. So that's about it. Till next time, I'm Perry helping you create great content for your marketing, your business, or whatever else you want to do with your content. See ya.